Hello and welcome. In this video, I am on my mobile, so I'm going to be showing you how to create a fun background shadow for um, a character or an object or something that's not square. So we're going to be looking at something a bit more fun today. So I'm just going to open up, say, an Instagram post as an example, just to show you. And I need to find an element. So I'm just going to search for Supergirl and see if we've got something fun in here I can use. I like her. I'm going to choose her. OK, I've stretched her out. So we've now got our Supergirl. So I'm just going to show you if I go to. Uh, where are we? effects you have some options here but the one we want is not here so what we need to do is we need to download her this is where you do need pro with a transparent background okay so we're downloading her with a transparent background save the image and then basically I am going to now delete her from my screen because I'm going to go to uploads, upload media from my photo library. There she is. Okay. And so we are uploading our Supergirl. So we now have her as an image. Now this is what we need. Okay. So I'm going to go to effects and now we have some additional options. It's this one here, shadows. This is the one we want. I'm going to click this and I want the drop shadow. You can see it's the second one in. I'm going to click drop shadow and for some unknown reason, she disappears on mobile. On desktop, she doesn't, but on mobile, she does. So you can now set where you want the shadow to be. So I want it bottom right. It would be easier if she appeared, but for some reason on mobile, she tends to disappear. I can change the angle, the transparency and the blur. I'm going to give it a bit more of a blur and I can also change the color. OK, <clears throat> so I'm going to go for a gray. You can use um, my exact settings if you want to. Or you can do this on the computer and you will see her. There we go. Now we have our lovely lady, our awesome super girl with a background shadow. If I change the background to a yellow, you can really see that shadow come out. So you can change the blur. So you can have a hard shadow if you want. You can change um, the intensity of it. There's a lot of options you can change, but you need to download it as a PNG image without the background so that you get that shadow option come up. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and I would love to see anyone creating a shadow type element um, using this effect in Canva. Love to see it. So yeah, that's it from me. Hope you've enjoyed it.